Greg starts small, controlled avalanches to prevent big avalanches. Here we go. I don't know what I expected. To set this off, we need to use one of these, which is basically similar to dynamite. And so this will get put inside this bag. But before that, we'll actually punch a hole through here. Of course we will. And we'll put a, a safety fuse aside. I hope you know what you're doing, Greg. I do. You seem a very nice You man. should hold on to this for a second. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. There you go. Off we go, then, to blow up a mountain to save the railway. So we're in a helicopter over the Rockies with a selection of homemade bombs. Oh dear, I'm smiling, but I'm not happy. This is going to be my 408 heli bombing mission. You still got all your fingers and toes. So far, every mission. Chris, do you enjoy this? I do. Who doesn't like throwing explosives from helicopters and blowing up snow? Uh, me. <laughs> oh, look at that. We have. Uh... It's time for action. Uh, Go for two charges here. Okay, sounds good. Two yeah. charges. And there'll be big bangs. Yeah. All right. Nighters are on. You're good to open the door. Open the door. Uh, we're about 15 seconds back from target. Safeties are off. Safety's off. And fuse is lit. Fuse is lit. Clock is running. Okay. There goes one. Uh, Bob's away. Second target. Yeah. And bombs away for the second one. Second charge away. And yeah, we're good. So we're at 30 seconds right now, so about a minute and a half to go, 90 seconds. Does the explosion jerk the helicopter? Now uh, you might feel a bit of a concussion. 10 to 20 seconds. There's one. Two. My God, he's done it. Another potential railway avalanche disaster averted. You can see now we've delivered our bombs and uh, it's getting wild here. We want to get back down. But now we're facing our own snowmageddon. Uh, we have a bit of a snow flurry coming in and there's no reference to basically fly. Uh, so with the white background, the white cloud, the white snow, we have no visibility. Basically, you just uh, you would lose control if you tried to fly through it. Oh. Yeah, it closes out pretty fast. And sure enough, we're soon in a whiteout. I can say it's white world. Oh. <coughs> There's only one way out of here, down. We're descending fast, or so the uh, rotor blade. Thankfully, the pilot manages to drop us safely down below the cloud. Disaster averted. That was one of the most amazing trips of my life. I was scared, I was genuinely scared. 